The balance sheet of A and B as on 1st January 2005 appears as follows. On this date, it is given that the firm was dissolved. So students, the balance sheet shows assets of cash, stock, debtors and land and building. Remember, besides cash, we have stock, debtors and land and building as assets. On the liability side, we have creditors, reserves, A's capital and B's capital. So students, out of these, only the creditors is the outsider's liabilities. All these three, that is reserves and capital account, they represent liability of partners. Coming to the additional information, assets other than cash realized 4 lakh. That means these three assets taken together, they realized rupees 4 lakh and the creditors were paid off at rupees 40,000. The creditors were valued or they were appearing in the balance sheet at 50,000. That means they were sold or paid off at a discount of 10,000. We are required to prepare realization account, partner's capital account and the cash account. So let us come to realization account first. Coming to realization account students, first of all, all the assets that are appearing on the asset side of the balance sheet should be transferred to realization account. Remember, no cash and bank balance should be transferred. So we had stock which will be transferred here to stock and the value was 50,000. Then we had debtors. Debtors were valued in the balance sheet at 80,000. Then we had land and building. Land and building was valued at rupees 2 lakh. So now students, all the assets that were there in the balance sheet have been transferred to the debit side of realization account. Now, we will transfer all the outsider's liability, that is, liabilities except that of the partners. So students, if we have a careful look on the liability side, we will see that only the creditor's amount should be transferred to the realization account because reserves and partner's capital, they both represent partner's liabilities. So by creditor's 50,000 will be transferred here. Now students, remember, the next step is to realize these assets and pay off these liabilities. The realization would be done through cash account as there was an account of cash appearing in the balance sheet. So by cash account, we must write account in front of all of these. So by cash account, a combined value of 40,000 is given, 4 lakh is given in the adjustments. That is all the assets, that is these three, they realized rupees 4 lakh. So I'll write it as assets realized 4 lakh. Then students, next step is to make sure that your liabilities are paid off. Creditors appeared at 50,000. And it is clearly given in the question that they were paid off at rupees 40,000. So, to cash, creditors, they were paid off at 40,000. There is no more entry. That is, no details about any expense on realization or any unrecorded asset or liabilities there in the question. So now let us total it out and find the profit and loss. The total of the credit side is higher. This is 4,50,000. Out of this 4,50,000, we should deduct the total on the debit side and transfer it as profit to partners capital account profit that is 4,50,000 minus 80,000 minus 3,70,000 that is the total on the debit side. So we have a profit of 80,000. The total is 4,50 on both the side students. But remember this profit has to be divided among partners which were A and B in their profit sharing ratio. Now in this question the profit sharing ratio was not given. So we'll assume it to be equal. So 80,000 divided equally is 40,000 for A and 40,000 for B. So students, just to recapitulate, 
we will transfer all the assets and liabilities into the realization account assets would be realized they will be shown on the credit side the liabilities would be paid showing payment on the debit side of realization account as to cash or to bank then whatever is left that is the balance would be treated as your profit or loss and should be adjusted into the partner's capital account in this case we have a profit of 80000 which is divided among the partners in their profit sharing ratio that is equal so 40000 for a and 40000 for b coming to the partner's capital account for a's capital account students there was a balance of 150000 in the balance sheet so it will be recorded on the credit side by balance brought down 150000 for B, it would be by balance brought down 1 lakh. Now students, there was a reserve in the balance sheet which amounted to rupees 50,000. This reserve represents the share of profits before the date of dissolution. So it should be divided among partners capital account in their profit sharing ratio which would be equal. So by reserves, 25,000 for A and by reserves, 25,000 for B. Now students, we had prepared realization account. There was a profit of rupees 80,000 realization account which was transferred to A and B as 40,000 and 40,000. So by realization account forty thousand for a and by realization forty thousand for b now students all the entries have been posted here so let us total it out and find the amounts that are payable to these partners at the time of dissolution. Remember students, since this is realization, whatever balance is there, which we earlier used to call as balance, should not be written as balance carried down because after this date, the business will cease to exist. So whatever is the total appearing or the net payable amount for each partners, it should be paid off to him through cash account or through bank account depending upon the question so students in this case the total comes to 2,15,000 since it is case of dissolution this amount would be paid off to him through cash account remember cash account because in this case the balance sheet was showing a cash balance so the cash account was there so through cash cash account 2,15,000 would be paid off to him this account now totals out and there is no balance left in this account after this date. Similarly for B, the total is 1,65,000 payable to him and it would be paid off through cash to cash account 1,65,000. And finally, once these capital accounts have been prepared, we can move on to the cash account in which these payments would be shown on the credit side. Coming to cash account, there was a balance of 20,000 as shown in the balance sheet. So it will be written on the debit side as to balance brought down. Now students, there was a realization on account of asset sold, which was written on the credit side of realization account. So the cross entry will appear on the debit side of cash account that is to realization account asset sold rupees 4 lakhs then there was a payment of 40,000 to creditors so by creditors or by realization rather because all the entries are passed through realization so by realization account payment to creditors you can write it in brackets 40,000 again students it is a posting of the journal entry for the payment made to creditors the cross entry of this would appear on the debit side of realization account. Now students, we had prepared capital accounts as well. 
and there was a payment of rupees two lakh fifteen thousand that was to be made to A. So now that payment will appear on the credit side by A's capital account two lakh fifteen thousand, and there was a payment of one lakh sixty five thousand to B. So by B's capital account one lakh sixty five thousand. Total it out. Four lakh twenty thousand is the total on the debit side. On the credit side, the total is four lakh twenty thousand. Remember, there should be no balance left in the cash account in case of dissolution, because now everything has been settled. All the assets have been sold off. All the liabilities have been paid off. The amount, whatever was there left over, has been transferred and paid off to partners through their capital accounts. So the balancing out of cash account means that all the accounts have been finally settled.